Today we're looking at the Earth Tones version 2 presets. This guide will show you how to use these presets inside Photoshop Adobe Camera Raw. First you want to start off inside Photoshop. I'm going to click open. I'm going to navigate to a raw file on my computer and open it. Now remember it's got to be a raw file type and this is going to open the Adobe Camera Raw module. This is a great photo from a Serbian stock photographer called Milenko. We interviewed him a little while ago on the community blog on the website, so make sure you check that out. So before we start applying the presets, first thing you want to do is just adjust the exposure manually here. So I'm just going to turn this up just a touch. Next we're going to go over to the presets tab, and once you've installed your presets, they'll appear here on the right hand side. We have our control presets up here, and we have the earth tones presets down here. First we're going to want to auto white balance and lens correct the image. And then we're ready to jump in and start applying these presets. These presets really build on the work of the first version of the Earth Tones pack, but with better colour enhancements in the skin tones, in the greens, oranges, yellows and browns. We've really designed this pack with the colour palettes of nature in mind, with a slightly washed out feel as well. As you can see we've got some greens, we've got some warmer presets and we've even got some cooler blue presets as well. So for this one I think I'm going to choose Earth Tone 1 because that looks really nice with this image. Now one of the other control presets is called Remove Grain. As a stylistic choice we've added a small amount of grain to each of the presets, however some photographers prefer not to have this as it can make your image soft. So if we just uh, apply the Remove Grain preset you can see it's taken away all of that grain leaving a nice sharp looking image. Now the next thing you can do is to jump in and start manually adjusting any of the other settings on these presets so they are fully customizable. So for instance I might bump up the shadows a little, maybe bring down the highlights just to see uh, a little bit more detail in the cloud areas up here. I think I'm actually just going to pump up the saturation uh, overall. Then I'm going to head over to the HSL adjustments and just bring down the saturation on the oranges just to even out the skin tones uh, and that looks really really nice. Then the last control preset we have is Reset TPF. What this is going to do is going to reset the uh, Earth Tones presets but it's not going to get rid of any of the adjustments such as the uh, white balance, the exposure or any of the lens corrections because these are effects which are subjective to this image. And if I want to reapply I can just go choose the preset make my adjustments again, so what did we do before? Shadows up, highlights down, saturation up, and then just bringing those oranges down on the skin tones for a really nice image. Once you've finished editing your image inside Adobe Camera Raw, you can click Open Image, and that's going to open it up in Photoshop where you can continue to make all of the adjustments that you need to with all of the tools available. Now remember these presets are designed for outdoor, wedding, lifestyle and travel photography to really enhance the colour palettes of nature. We do encourage our photographers to use these presets on a wide range of images, however if you're shooting cityscapes or perhaps studio photography, these presets might not work as well, so really stick to your outdoor, travel, lifestyle, wedding photography and this is where these presets are really going to shine. Remember if you've got any questions about these presets or any of our other products just go over to the support section on our website, you can contact our team and somebody will get back to you as soon as possible.